This week, a summary of the first few classes in my brand strategy course. So loosely speaking, think of a brand as all the touch points that create emotional intangibles surrounding a product. There are three basic categories or three basic ways to build a brand. There's pre-purchase, purchase, and post-purchase. Pre-purchase advertising, public relations, the things we typically consider brand building. Purchase, where you actually buy the product, distribution, the store, and then post-purchase, loyalty programs, customer service, warranties. What do we see happening? Pre-purchase, which has been massively overinvested, is in structural decline. Why? Because advertising sucks and the advertising industrial complex is collapsing. Young wealthy people, i.e. anybody a brand wants to reach, have decided to opt out of advertising, which has become the tax that the poor and the technologically illiterate pay. What does this mean for you? It means if you're a brand, you need to reallocate capital out of pre-purchase into purchase or post-purchase. So we take that capital out of pre-purchase, which is the rookie move in brand strategy, and we allocate it towards the medium whose death has been greatly exaggerated, and that is stores. The gangster move of the last 20 years that has created more shareholder value than any decision in the history of business was Steve Jobs' crazy, irrational decision to zag while everyone was zigging and take money out of advertising and allocate it into a medium that was dying, specifically stores. This is our store. and. The first quarter of the store has our home section and our pro section with all our great pro products. And every product we make is in this first 25% of the store. You can see the whole product line. Stores are the consummation of a relationship. You hear about somebody, a good family, nice, fun to be around and pre-purchase through advertising, but the physical interaction, the first kiss, sex with the product who we personify and have a relationship with is at the store. You have sex with Tom Brady or Giselle, you go into an Apple store, you go into a Samsung store, Samsung distribution, which is an AT&T or Verizon store, that's having sex with a guy named Roy with a name tag in bad lighting. Do you know what this is? Yes, that is a 10 times larger than life replica of your penis. Oh. That's hilarious. Point of distribution, stores are more and more strategic. And while square footage in stores will decrease, the amount of money spent on each square foot relatively will increase. The other gangster move, post-purchase, warranties, some sort of guarantee, some way of getting data. It's really post-purchase intelligence where we take data from the purchase and use it as a means of whipping the consumer back around to that purchase funnel again. Think of the clock as being an axis unfurled across XY or an X axis. Pre-purchase, purchase, and post-purchase. We want you to have a bias. We want to lean the axis this way. Take money and allocation in your own human capital out of pre-purchase and either put it into purchase. The stores are underinvested. You can still make money in retail and stores as long as they're not omni-channel and we do click and collect. But really try and get to post-purchase. Who are the best brand builders in the world? Hands down, tobacco. Take a product whose primary benefits are death, disease, and disability and turn them into the most aspirational brands that make us feel tough and cool and you have the best branders in the world. Why are they the best branders in the world? Because we turn them into the best brand builders in the world. When they were advertising on television, our mothers, our sisters, and our daughters kept dying. And so we said, that's it, we're pissed off. You can no longer advertise. So what do they do? They took all of this capital and they allocated it to purchase and they put cute pictures of camels and bodegas at distribution. Just about the time this was losing its effectiveness. Good for them. But here's what happened. Our sisters, our daughters, and our mothers kept dying. So we said, that's it. No more cute camel Joe at points of purchase. Just as this was starting to lose some momentum and they built the largest databases in the world. And when they sensed you were stopping smoking, they started sending you Marlboro points or coupons to get you back into the franchise. The original CRM database marketers, tobacco companies. There are exceptions to every rule. Pre-purchase ad-supported media is not going away. It's just going to be a place to work or invest. As a matter of fact, I'll be watching ad-supported media tonight. I'll give you one hint. We'll see you next week.